SecurityCameraKing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to your DVR using our brand new IDMSS software. This software is compatible with iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch, iPad first generation, and iPad 2. Okay, uh, you have to make sure uh, if you're connecting to a DVR that is internally on your network, you have to make sure that your iPhone is using uh, your wireless connection is attached to a wireless. You can easily go into your settings on your iPhone and go to your Wi-Fi connection and you have to make sure that your Wi-Fi is on and you're connected to a network right now or to a wireless. Once you have that set, you can go back to the, to the IDMSS software and click on it. It's a nice interface and you will be presented with this menu. Uh, in here, you have to go to device list to add your DVR. Uh, by default, the username and password is admin admin if you haven't changed it on your, on your DVR and the default IP is 192.168.1.108. The default port is 37777 and, and uh, if you haven't changed any of your usernames and passwords again is admin as a username and admin as password. Now, uh, for this demonstration, I'm in the office, but our DVR is in a different network, so we have uh, different networks here. So I'm going to be using the external IP or uh, DON DNS domain to connect to uh, one of our DVRs. So to start, once you have on, uh, once you are on this interface on device list, you're going to click Edit and Add. Okay, you will be presented with this interface. You're going to put on their name. You can put whatever is intuitive to you. I'm going to put office. On the address field, you're going to put either the internal IP, if you are internally on the network, or if you are externally on the network, you're going to put the external IP. You can find the external IP of the network where the DVR is by going to a computer and uh, open um, whatever browser you're using and going to canyouseeme.org or whatismyip.com and it will show you your external IP. Also, you have to make sure that you already have your ports open on uh, your router, otherwise it's not going to work externally. Okay, uh, for the address again, I'm going to put, I'm using uh, DONDNS domain. I'm going to put it in there. The default uh, port again is 37777. Username and password is admin admin. And here you will be uh, choosing how many channels is your DVR. This DVR that I'm connecting to is 16 channels, so it's fine there. I just click OK. Click Done. You're all set. From this interface, again, you can click the arrow or you can click the name of the, of the device name that you put in there and you can see the settings. And if you made a mistake or something, you can click edit and re-edit those settings. Once you're done, you click OK and you're ready to connect. You click device list, IDMSS button, then you go to uh, live preview. Now, for those uh, that don't know about this uh, app, this app is able to connect to four cameras simultaneously and play audio if you have uh, microphones on your DVR. You have to make sure also, if you have microphones on your DVR, you have to go to the settings under ENCODE and under the mainstream or the sub, I'm sorry, the, the substream or the extra stream, you have to be uh, sure that you have audio enabled. Otherwise, you're not, even though if you have a microphone, if you don't have those options checked, you're not going to be able to listen to any audio. Okay? So, uh, I got a couple of cameras here that has audio on it. And uh, to connect to it, you will see four windows. 
and you will see plus on each window. So in order to add a camera, you just simply tap, double tap, or just one tap and then tap again to go to the uh, list device or the device list that you have and choose the device that you just add and choose the channel. Okay, I have my channel one. Okay, add camera number two. And I'm gonna add another camera here. Okay, now all the four cameras are, are uh, connected right now. You can uh, either uh, double tap a channel to go full screen and you can use uh, landscape mode and here you will see the menus. You can take a snapshot if you want to. You will hear that sound. Uh, the next option is to go to the device list again. If you go to the device list, the DVR uh, or the app is going to understand that you're getting out of the the menu or out of the the window that you're playing to go and add another DVR or another channel. Here uh, you can change, you can close uh, four channels at once or one channel at once to close this particular channel or you can click on the PTZ tool or the PTZ controller and then you can control, um, you have different options for controlling PTZ cameras. This is not a PTZ camera, I got another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap to go back to the four window view and cameras one and two has audio. So uh, right now I'm going to go to, this is a PTZ camera and it has audio. I don't know if you can hear anything but it does indeed have audio. Uh, and here you can, this is a PTZ camera again, you can control the camera by sliding your finger across the screen and then you will be able to see that the camera is moving. Here you can uh, zoom in or zoom out. Um, you can use either your fingers or you can use the PTZ controller that is right here in this menu. You can zoom in or zoom out. You can move the camera from here. It's a very cool feature that now we are providing with this uh, app. Uh, if your camera has more capabilities like focusing or adjusting the iris, you can do this as well. You can put it on portrait if you want to. Okay. Then uh, you can double tap again to go to full screen on each camera. This camera has audio, so uh, because nobody's there, you can't hear, but there is a noise there. So in order for you to mute that, you will see a speaker over there, and you just click on it, and the audio stops. If you want to hear it again, you click again. This option over here is to go to the device uh, menu again, and then add another camera if you want to. There you go. You can click back. Here, there is an option that says favorite. You can add the favorites based on the devices you already have configured in IDMSS. So uh, right now I have only one, so you can add your favorite cameras right away. Let's say camera one, two, five, and six, because it only has four views. So you can click OK. You can add as many cameras as you want. You just pick it when, when you're ready to connect and instead of going to uh, the device list. Then you go back, live preview. You can double tap again to go for screen. And, and instead of going to the device, you go to the, your favorites and you add the cameras from there. It's a very cool, very easy to use. Um, I will be making another video for the iPad configuration and, and, and uh, explain a little bit more. Our iPad app has capabilities to view nine cameras at once. So that's right, nine cameras at once and listen to the audio if those cameras have audio, whatever camera you're choosing have audio. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.